Hi everyone. <laughs> I picked a bunch of berries this weekend. Marion berries, which are like giant blackberries that um, grow here on the coast. And some, and I kind of, you know, got some that were a little bit overripe. And so I thought I would make um, some berry ink for writing in the journal. So you just, if you have a mortar and pestle, it's kind of makes it really easy but you know anything just like a container and something to mush with basically is is all you need just put a few berries in there and a tiny bit tiny couple of drops of water and mush it up mm -hmm. la, la, la. Surprise, bonsai isn't working. Okay, you just want to, you know, get it to where it's all nice and juicy. Like so. Can you see that? Juicy. And then I have a journal page that I started. And it's got a bunch of stuff from the forest, which I'm going to pick up off of there for the moment and what I did to prepare the page was um, I just did a bunch of different color um, watercolor paint and then I did some gesso over that and then I just sort of flicked some paint here and there I have one of these kind of pens that you pretty much need one of these to do this um, and you can you you can get like a less fancy version at Michael's, just um, a pen with a old-fashioned nib, <clears throat> and then you just dip it in there, swirl it around a little, and okay. How embarrassing. It's not really working. I'm wondering if it's maybe the um, scratch, scratchy gesso that's causing it. So I'm going to try it on another page here. Let's see. Hmm. Never mind. <laughs> oh boy. How embarrassing. Oh well. Hmm. Never mind. All right. Well, determined to go forward anyway. I um, decided to just use a paintbrush and paint the words that I wanted to say with the berry juice and that's working out just fine. And I'm just finishing up here. It's really cool because it goes on red and then it dries purple. And I wrote, <coughs> excuse me, I wrote a haiku about the forest. I spent, I did a, a nice forest walk the other day and um, collected a bunch of little flowers and such. Anyway, I wrote a, um, a little haiku. The forest silence answers my prayers with grace reserved for angels. Anyway, that is how it ended up looking. It just kind of fades into the background too. I like that. I'm just going to do some little curly cues and viney thingies here and there. <laughs> and of course you want to be sure that you let something like this dry really well 
and air out um, because you don't want it to, you know, get funky when you close the pages. So, um, or draw ants or any of that stuff. So I'm just going to let, I'm going to put mine on the uh, fireplace for the night. Not that I have a fire going at this time of year or anything, but that's just kind of like where I always put things over there on the red fireplace to air out. And there's a fan right over my head, so that'll help. Anyway, <clears throat> and then I'm going to add all of these beautiful things that I picked up in the forest once that is completely dry. And it will be pretty neat, I think. So yeah, you can. I love the idea of of using natural things to paint with. One time I gathered a whole bunch of stuff to do it with. It was um, things like curry powder for yellow. What was red? Hmm. Well, one, you could use henna powder, I suppose, but I had something else for red. I can't remember exactly what it was, but um, then you can use spirulina for green, blue-green, whatever, and then what else? Perhaps cinnamon for brown? I don't know. I never... I only got the three, I think, and then I had them stored in a place where rats got to them, and I never did get around to using them for painting, but I would love to do that someday, is um, do a whole painting of, uh, made, you know, with paint made from nature. That would be really fun, I think. Anyway, nothing nothing inspires me like nature. You know, it's like if I'm feeling uninspired or bored or frustrated or non-creative, all I have to do is go outside and go for a walk. And it always I always see something to inspire me and I love that. And to ensure that now when I'm out and um, taking my walks, I do Sark's suggestion, which is to put your hands in the air and say, Miracle, find me now, or Miraculous People, find me now. And then you just wait and you just keep walking and eventually you will come upon a miracle. I'll show you the miracle I found the other day when I was walking and asked for one. It's so very cool. Oh, shoot. Mm. It's so cool and yet so delicate. Oopsie. It's a dragonfly, a dried dragonfly that I found in my friend's driveway. Isn't that neat? I love its wings. They're all opalescent, but it's pretty delicate. So anyway, and I found these really cool berries in the woods. Aren't those neat? So I have it perching on that. And yeah, I just love it. Of course, I can't put it in a journal because it would just smash. But anyway, so go for a miracle walk. Make some ink out of berries. Just enjoy nature and let it inspire you. Peace out.